This is experiment three, density of saline solutions, measurement of density and percent composition of saline solutions. Well, um, I've got my 50 milliliters of solution of a known concentration from before. I need to transfer it to my 100 milliliter beaker, but my 100 milliliter beaker has droplets of water on it. So if it's clean and dry, you can pour your 50 milliliters straight in but since it's not, I need to condition this because this is something different than my solution. I think it's DI water, or sorry, distilled water. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very small amount. I'm going to coat the insides. And in fact, one way to do a good job of coating insides is to sort of tilt it and pour it out into my waste beaker. Conditioning, you do it once. You do it twice. You do want to do it with a relatively small amount. Because we don't want to waste our nice known concentration solution. Do it once, do it twice, do it a third time. Coating the entire inside. Now, whatever is in here is the solution that I need. I can transfer the rest of the solution in here and know that I'm not diluting it. Small things like this are important in this lab, so please be careful to condition and think about conditioning as you go through the experiment. Okay, so now I've got my solution of known concentration in my beaker. I now need to determine its density. In order to do that, I've got my scale here, I've got my 50 milliliter beaker, and it does not have to be dry, because whatever solution, whatever water uh, or solution is in there, when I take the mass of it, let's see, I'll put zero, then I will take the mass of it, I get 6.12 grams, and that's why you have to take the mass of the solution every single time is, uh, or sorry, the mass of the beaker every single time because it will have a slightly different amount of water on it. Now I've got my pipette. It has uh, distilled water in it. So I'm going to condition my pipette so it has this solution in it. So small amount. Run it around. Come on, get in there. There we go. And then waste three times. 2 times, 3 times. Okay, now whatever's in here is the same as this solution. Again, these little things do make a difference in this lab. Now I'm ready to add my 10 milliliters. My scale just fell asleep, so it's a good thing that I have the mass of whatever's in here so that I can turn it on and then get the mass of my solution by difference. All right, so now I'm going to do 10 milliliters. That's five times my two milliliter mark. And in order to see it very well, I'm gonna look straight across. Oh, didn't quite make it to my two milliliters. Let's try that again. Squeeze my bulb a little harder. Two milliliters or 2.00 milliliters. I'm going to move them all closer so I have less chance of spilling. Easier commute for my solution. Two. Three. Four. Get all that solution out every single time. Now I'll turn my scale back on. I get 16.79 grams. 
and uh, to make sure that you've done it at least approximately correctly it should be more than 10 grams so when I subtract it off I actually get uh, more than 10 grams I guess 10.6 or 10.7 grams so uh, because the salt makes the water or the solution more dense than water if you're putting in 10 milliliters and you want a density more than 1.00 gram per milliliter, then you should get more than 10 grams when you do this. You're asked to do 10 grams and then weigh it, and then do another 10 grams, or 10 milliliters, sorry, 10 milliliters, weigh it again, another 10 milliliters and weigh it again, and so you'll have three separate trials for this. I'll let you do that, and I'll end this video here.